Our goal with this construction is to be able to divide segment PQ into any amount of congruent segments. So in this particular one, we're going to divide it into three. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my straight edge, and from an endpoint, I'm going to choose P here, I'm going to draw a line segment. This can be any length you want, and it can be at any angle. The important thing is that it connects to our endpoint there. Now we want to take our compass, we're going to place it at point P, which is our endpoint we chose before, and then we're going to draw the same number of arcs that we want to divide our segment up into. So we want to divide this into three congruent segments, so I'm going to draw three arcs along this segment that I've made. So from point P, you can open this any amount you want. Make sure you're not opening it too far that your compass won't be able to reach, but I'm going to draw one segment right here. I'm going to move this to that point and draw a second arc, making a second segment. And then I'm going to move this to that point and draw a third arc, and that's going to make a third segment. So I've now taken this segment that I drew, and I've made three arcs along it because I want to divide this into three segments. So our next step is going to be to figure out how far P and Q are from our furthest mark. So I'm going to take my compass, and I'm going to measure from P out to my furthest arc, which we know should be three times the distance, and about that length. I'm then going to move that distance to Q, and we are going to try to construct the same sort of shape on the other side of the line. So from Q, I'm going to draw an arc that represents that same distance. Now I'm going to do the same thing from Q, so from Q I want to measure my distance to my furthest arc. I'm going to move that to point P, and I'm going to construct an arc that's that same length. So what I have here now is an intersection point where P and Q are the same distance from that point as they are from this arc. So using my straight edge, I'm going to connect point Q to that intersection point. And notice what I get is a line that's parallel to the original segment that I drew. Now I want to mirror these arc marks that I originally made. So I'm going to take my compass and I'm going to measure just how wide open my compass was when I originally made those arcs. Let me move this out of the way. So that's about the length of two arcs, that's about the length of one. I'm going to move this over to point Q, and I'm going to copy exactly what I did along this line. So that is the length of one segment. Move that to there, that's the length of a second segment. And moving this to here, that should be the length of a third. And it should overlap exactly my compass might have moved a little bit in the process. So now we just need to do our very last step here. So we're going to take our straight edge again, and I'm going to use dotted lines just so they're not getting in our way. And I'm going to connect my furthest arc to point Q. I'm going to connect my next furthest arc to the first arc from Q, the next furthest arc to the next arc from Q, and point P to my furthest arc. And now notice what that gave me. I'm going to trace over these in another color. This divided PQ into 1, 2, 3 congruent segments.